Okay, I'm feeling guilty. It's been years, many years, since I pulled my piston or my cylinder off my Alpina 350, a bike that I've owned since 1975. Anyway, I think in the first year I owned this bike, I had to put a new piston in it. There was a defect with the original piston. This piston here is the same piston that's been in the bike for 34 years. And I think these rings are the original rings. Anyway, I got a lot of carbon. I have scraped this piston before, but it's due for it. But the cylinder, look at this. This thing is in near perfect shape. But, oh boy, do I have blow-by. Quite a bit. But you know what? This thing still, this is a tight fit. I still don't need a piston. I can't get a feet. There's, there's, no, there's no slop or anything in here. Whoops. Boy. Very little. I'll get a feeler gauge and put it in there and try it. I think I just got to scrape the carbon off of this. The rings, let's measure them real quick. Again, gap is not supposed to be over 0 0.29, 0 0.29 inches. Well, my thickest feeler gauge I have is 0.24. I got less than 0 0.24. Well, let's see what it is. I'll go to 0 0.20. That's two. Maybe 0 0.18. Nope. Oh, that was 0.18. Here's 0.18. Okay. 0.18. I'm calling that ring, that gap on that ring, 0.18. Still within tolerances. Let's see what this one is. No, it's less than 0.18. I can't believe it. After 30 some years, my rings have are still well under the maximum tolerance ring end gap, and the piston. It's it's all I got to do is clean this thing up. I'm putting it back in. Anyway, that's my story.